Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in The Sims, I thought maybe I could go hunt for graves. I don't know, like with the new pack, with the new funeral system, I just think it would be fun to hunt for graves and see how many we get. So currently I am in my blackout bingo challenge save and usually I would turn the die in accidents neighborhood stories off just because personally I don't want everyone in the world to die because I would basically have to replace them if they die too much. So so usually I have it off so I think this is probably the only save where I have it on. I think maybe we can start off in Sulani and hopefully we find a bunch of graves. That is the whole point of this video. Okay so we are here. Ooh okay well we have one grave. That is good and she has a bunch of stuff in her inventory so let's just ignore that. So it looks like Liliana has died. So I believe originally no one lives in these homes so I don't think there would be any graves here. So I'm thinking maybe we can visit this household. I feel like everyone is probably alive. They do have two horses, but let's just go check. Okay, so far I see no graves. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. Yeah, so I don't think Solani is the best place. I think pretty much everyone is alive. So I think we could check out the base game worlds. Oh, what happened to Eliza? Bob is by himself. Maybe she died or she could have moved out and divorced him. I do have MC command center, so that can happen, but I am hoping for a grave. Uh, I don't see a grave. Well that's unfortunate. Sometimes they can be in like a corner but I don't see none. Yeah this is sad. So maybe we can visit- I was gonna say the Spencer Kim Lewis household but everyone seems to be there. Okay so maybe I can visit the BFF household home. Liberty? Oh, yeah, never mind. I already know what happened to Liberty. I already have Liberty's grave because we killed her in the swimming pool. I just forgot. Bad memory. We are not doing so well in this challenge. What if I visit her? I feel like she's supposed to be with someone. No grave? This save file is weak. Like, what happened to Johnny? Obviously, that's a random generated sim, but maybe she dated Johnny. They moved in together and he died. Okay, so, so far, I don't see any grave outside at least but when I knock on the door there is gonna be a grave no yeah I don't see a grave here I feel like maybe I would have done better in another save file just because most of the people would have probably died from old age and not from neighborhood stories okay so Zoe is missing maybe Zoe died there's only one way to find out okay I see a grave okay finally so Zoe Patel died I don't think I should bother knocking so the Caliente household I'm pretty sure Katrina is missing but she could be dating someone that is a possibility but let's go see okay so it seems like they replaced Katrina with a cat so we have Ollie here so far I see no graves I only have two graves so far maybe I can visit the Bell household oh my gosh Lily got with Michael Bell wow that's interesting she got rid of Victor okay so I don't think there's any graves here at least so far there isn't any yeah there's no graves I think it's safe to say that we have filled this challenge. Maybe we can go to Windenburg. Oh, this is where Kirchina went. She's dating Marcus. She's married to Marcus, actually. I'm gonna go visit them. Maybe there was someone else in that household. Okay. Oh my gosh, see? There was an urn. And just to think that I wasn't gonna check this household. So yeah, Paulo Rocco. I don't know if I said that right, but he died. So currently we have three graves. This is not a complete fail. Maybe I'll visit this household. I don't know if anyone is missing. I feel like I'm not really that familiar with the Windenburg residence, but I feel like at least one person could be missing. I'm just gonna knock on the door and yeah, I don't see any grave. I mean, we tried, right? So what if we visit the bro household? So far, I don't see any graves. I'm just gonna knock on the door. Yeah, there's no graves here. Well, that's just sad. I want a grave. Our graveyard is not gonna be that big. Maybe I can check out the fires household. I guess we can just knock. Oh, this is not the front door. Is this the front door? Yeah, it is. They had twins, it looks like like that it's not so good I feel bad for them so we have the free spirits and we have munch I feel like yeah the munch household is big but again he could have moved out on his own because I have MC command center and that can happen but I'm hoping there's a bunch of graves here I don't see any graves I feel like the best way to get all the graves is probably to like check neighborhood stories and that will tell me like how many people died but maybe we should do that the bear household has moved in okay I think we'll stick to traveling so now I'm gonna 
gonna visit the free spirits. I'm very hopeful. No, I shouldn't have been hopeful because there's not a grave. I was wrong to be hopeful. Okay, well, that is completely fine. I think we should leave Windenburg and go somewhere else. I think San Machino is a bad place. I don't think vampires can die, so this is probably not the best location either. So I guess we can try Brittleton Bay. Yeah, all the heckings are there. It looks like Father Winter has moved in. Here's the thing. No one in the save dies from old age. And that's because I turned it off because she's in university. So I don't expect anyone to be dead from old age, just from neighborhood stories. So maybe that was my mistake. University takes forever. I don't want her to be old when she finishes the challenge. So I doubt there's anyone like dead here. I'm pretty sure the pets also stay the same age. Yeah, there's no graves here. I'm very sad. We only have three graves in our collection. At this point, I think I'm better off at going to another save file. And that's just the truth. Maybe Strangerville? I think the Roswells are all there. Maybe I can visit the e collected arts household. I don't know. Anyways, let's visit them. I feel like they're missing some people there. So I'm gonna knock on the household. Wow, that's a big foundation. This house is just ugly. I'm so sorry, but it is. And I don't see any graves, so the house is hideous, actually. Oh, there is a grave! Okay, good. Leslie died. Okay, four. Okay, actually, this house is not hideous. Like, this is like the most gorgeous house I have ever seen. Like, you cannot build a house better than this. Maybe I can visit the Sigworth household. Maybe someone died there. So far, I see nothing. This is... Oh, I clicked start a break in. I did not mean to do that. Well, I guess I can break in. It's gonna send me back home when I finish this. Okay, well, I'm in and I broke in for no reason because I don't see a grave. Oh, they left their babies here unattended. Wow, wow, that is horrible. It's gonna send me home. Maybe I can collect the two graves that I already have and include it in our hunt. Technically, we only found four, but we can make it six. Oh, our horse is sad. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. But yeah, I have two graves back here. We have Eliza. Oh, I already have Eliza Pancake's grave. I forgot. That just goes to show I have bad memory, okay? I killed her in the beginning. That's all I can say. I killed her from Pufferfish, and then I killed Liberty from drowning, basically, trapping her in my pool. I'm pretty sure spellcasters can die, right? Unless you give them a potion. I assume, but I feel like no one is missing. Maybe I'll visit this household. Okay, so far I see nothing. It's very dark. It's getting really late. Yeah, there's definitely not a grave in here. There's none in the back either. We have the staircase to nothing. Let's check Brychester. So, ooh, the elderberry household. There's a woman missing. Okay, well, so far I don't see a grave. So that is just horrible. And I don't think this is the front door. Oh yeah, I already have a grave. Okay, yeah, she died, Eleanor. See, we have five graves that we have collected. I think that's that's very beautiful. Now we can try the Tinker household. I'm pretty sure people are missing here. It looks like there's no grave in there, but yeah, I don't think I see a grave. That is so sad. So, so, so sad. Oh, yep. Never mind. That's why you check all the corners. So yeah, Tina Tinker did die. So that's six, excluding the two that I stole from my own house. See, we're doing better. Oh, for some reason, Vlad decided to move here. I think it would be a very interesting thing if I could find multiple graves in one location. I don't think that's gonna happen but I don't think neighborhood stories kills off that many sims as I have thought. There's no grave indoors. Oh my gosh, but there is one here. So Mary Greenberg has died, but we've been on a roll. Have you noticed every house we've been checking, there's a grave? I just, I think that's amazing. So everyone in the Prescott family is there. I'm pretty sure everyone in the Harris household is there as well, but I'm not too familiar with how many people are in that household. I guess I can check. We might ruin our streak, which I hope we don't, but we might. Everyone is outside. I'm gonna knock on the door. Yeah, I don't think there's a grave in here. That is so sad. Oh my gosh, we're on a roll. Okay, I'm sorry. I always knock on the door first because I'm expecting it to be inside because sometimes that happens, but it looks like Faye Harris has died. So, so far we collected eight graves today, minus the two that I stole from my own house. Everyone seems to be where they're supposed to be in this world. Now we can check Hinford on Bagley. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone. Oh, well, either his husband has divorced him 
him or he died. Okay, so there's no urn inside. That is sad. But remember, we have to check all the corners. Yeah. Oh, no. Yes. Okay. See? He died. In Moody died. I wonder how they died. What did they do? Did they climb a mountain? Did they catch on fire? Let's try Tertosa. But yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone is in this household. So now we can try Moonwood Mill. So it looks like everyone is here as well. That's so sad. Okay. Like, we're at the end of the road. Copperdale. Everyone in the Harjo family seems to be there. Everyone in the Price family seems to be there. Yeah, this is horrible. Well, we know where Johnny does move to, so that's good. I guess our next place is Chestnut Ridge. Yeah, it's not looking so good. I doubt anyone from this world has died, Um, but we can always check. I guess I can go back and check the households where I thought like, oh, definitely no one died here. I think we can probably end our journey here. I hate to say that, but there's not as many graves as I hoped would be here. And I guess we can probably make a small graveyard because I feel like this video is just very short. So maybe I'll just make the smallest little graveyard you have ever seen. Well, it sucks that it's snowing at the moment. That is not so good. But can I turn this into a cemetery lot while I'm here? Yes, I can. Okay. I guess I can just decorate it with these other graves. That won't be too bad, will it? Like that will be fine. So I'm gonna place all the graves that I have into this graveyard graveyard except for the ones that I brought from home because I would like to keep them personally and yeah that's all the graves we have collected that's so sad so I guess we can get started this is gonna be a challenge just because it's snowing outside it's not gonna be anything special I think I'll probably just put like a small building in the back that has like a bathroom and then maybe this part could be like a little stage where you can like do a speech maybe that's nice and I'm pretty sure we got a bench from the new pack but it's not counted in here for some reason that's weird but these were just placements so don't worry about that but i guess i could probably place them on grave sites so it's definitely hard to see what you're doing when it's snowing i don't know if i'm gonna succeed at this so there's six right here then we have seven we have eight and then i guess maybe we could just put some over here as well we have 12 spots for graves and i feel like we should probably move the building over a little bit maybe to be like more in the middle you can put it on like a little foundation and then maybe i can do something like that i don't know i just want to give it a tower for the vibes i'm just not sure about this roof i don't think anyone is going to download this but this is just for fun so i might not upload this to the gallery because yeah it's not my best work and then we can do like a very simple fence i mean i say simple i'll do this fence from the life and death pack but i think that's a nice start and then i feel like i probably want to like move these back a little so they're not like so close to the fence. Actually, I think I might move them over a little bit as well. Actually, I might be able to fit one more over here so that way the nine graves I collected can be over here and that would be perfect and then the fake graves can be over here. That is pretty good. I think I want to go to manage worlds to build. I'm just hoping that when I come back the graves are still there. Okay, so the graves are still there. That is so good. Now we can finally see what we're doing. So these are the graves that I collected so I'm gonna place them all over here. Unfortunately they're turning into urns which is not what I wanted but I guess in live mode I could probably change it. And then these are the fake graves. That's cute. And then I can add like a stone flooring. The castle estate kit. I kind of love that. I think that's so pretty. And then maybe we can also use like the staircases that match them. Like I feel like it would probably be too much to use the stone from the castle pack as well but I'm gonna try it just in case it's good. So maybe the bottom piece has like the moss and then the top piece is clean. I think I like that. And then I need to get like a floor trim which could also be from the castle pack. I never used the castle pack before so I think this is my time to use it now. Again, as I said before, this is not gonna be like uploaded to the gallery because I'm just building for fun. This doesn't mean I necessarily like what I'm doing but I'm just doing this for fun right now. I will say I don't think I like it and that it's probably not that good but it's very small maybe i can upload it i don't know it depends on how it looks at the end is the door too much i feel like i probably should match the staircase with the door maybe maybe no maybe this is good maybe that's fine so they have some windows from this pack which i guess i should probably try to use but i'll probably just put one in the middle because that is just like too many windows right so maybe just one window on the tower i guess it could be on like one side this 
this is not gonna be used so it doesn't matter that much and then i guess i can get like some columns oh that clips that's just perfect oh my gosh it clips here too okay so it works if you put the roof lower but that's just that makes it look ugly i guess that's fine and then we can get like a window on this side what if i delete this roof and i put this fence right there because that makes it more castle-y. I guess that's okay. Ooh, they have these like little llama thingies. It's supposed to hold up the roof I'm pretty sure but we don't really need a roof to be held up so maybe I'll just put those right there and I think oh this is out of place. I thought it looked a little off and then I want to mark where I could put like some landscaping so maybe I can put like some landscaping in those places. What if I got rid of this and then this could be like I don't know it could be something and then I don't think there will be any like landscaping over here because like I feel like this is a little too close those are the only two parts and I guess the front part as well so I guess we can start thinking about the inside so this is like nothing special like you could have a very small funeral but it's not meant to like be some place where you can like eat you know what I mean because it's just it's not built for that it's way too small so I'm thinking like oh this is for a short get together I know this is crazy to have like the stone as like a wallpaper inside I feel. At least that's how I feel. I'm not sure. I think it will be okay if we use that. Or we could use this wallpaper which is also fine. Maybe I can put it on like the interior walls. And every other wall is exterior so that's fine. Except for the bathroom. We could put a casket. I'm pretty sure this is like one of the ones you can sleep in. It's not the one where you can like place on top of that thing. Also we need two benches so maybe we can use this one from get together. That's cute. Well, I guess we can put one of these. Like, that's cute. Actually, ooh, we could put like the stone one somewhere. I think that would be cute. Okay. I just don't have room for it. It's too small. I have to have two benches for whatever reason. Like, do I just put like two benches here as you walk by? Or would they be like turned so that way like you can, I guess, sit and talk? And then I guess this could be like the memorial display. I think this color is fine, right? I was not planning to build a graveyard today but then I was like um this video is gonna be like way too short if that is all I do so we have a memorial display outside this is the one that you can place on that thingy if I can find it but yeah I think if we have a display outside we probably don't need one inside so I probably should get rid of it but we can just think about it for now Ooh, maybe we can do the white but yeah like maybe I or I could do this behind that and we could put like flowers up there to like decorate so we could do this we can have like a little picture of them and then there's this flower thing that looks kind of bad indoors so I guess I can put it outside and I'll get it in this color maybe like you could probably change it to whatever color you want if you use it and then we need chairs so people can sit maybe this one is better and I'll get it in this like light wood color and again I think this is going to be like a short ceremony so so there'll probably just be like these two benches oh I'm so stupid I forgot something important that is bad but maybe they can be placed like that or no maybe i i'm being too indecisive we'll just put them like this but i forgot to get the speech thingy maybe if i type in podium it will show up Oh yeah, this thingy. I don't actually think you need to get to the memorial display. So I'm gonna like slightly alt place this back a little bit. I don't want it to touch, but I want it to be like really close. And then this should be enough room for the person to give their speech. And then I was thinking of putting like a bigger flower right here. I think I might change that guy to be yellow. Here's the thing with this. It's cute, but the flowers you can't change. It changes the frame if you do that. So that's unfortunate. Maybe I'll use this frame and then I'll stick to these flowers and we could always use like some more windows i would honestly love to get a window right here i think that's fine that's cute it's so small but it's cute going back to my wedding stories there are these flowers that you put at the end of the aisle is that weird for a funeral i don't know but i think i want to put them just so like there's more in here and it's not so empty i don't know if it's like too much to put them on each side but i'm gonna try it what if i can put like a small little table oh that is cute that's actually cute the yellow flowers i was thinking we could get like a gold table next to the benches i love the tables being there i'm just not so sure what to put on them that is like a bit of a problem Ooh, maybe i could put like a drink tray maybe no i don't know i'm so
so confused. Oh, we do have like the nectar bottles. Maybe someone is griefing in a bad way. In a way, maybe they shouldn't. We also have this incense thingy, which I think is cool. And then we have like a trunk, which I don't think should be here, but it is. Maybe they're pouring one out, okay? That's what that's for, is pouring one out. They're not like grieving in a bad way. And then I guess I can just put flowers right here. That's cute. I love the trunk. And then I think I want to get more flowers. You can never have enough. So I think this is cute as well. And then this is the bathroom. It's going to be pretty simple. Probably scoot the door over a bit. I don't think a public place would have this, but they have it, okay? I don't know what these things are, but they have it, okay? Just ignore the fact that it is a public place. And the bathroom, it's pretty simple. I guess I can put like a painting on this wall. And also, I probably would give them like the thing from Get to Work, which is like a paper towel dispenser, except I feel like it looks weird here. So I just won't put anything at all. They just have to shake their hands off. Well, this is kind of like a mini castle. So maybe I'll put like a knight. And I think that's cute. It's simple. I mean, there's a globe bar. Is that okay? I think this is fun. We can put like a little globe. That's not for drinks. That's for education purposes. That's all. And then maybe we can get this little painting from Life Struck. Love Struck? No, Life and Death. Okay, I was trying to say, I was gonna say Love Struck, but then I was like, Life Struck. I think that's good for the inside. Again, it's pretty simple. And then I feel like I want to size these down because I guess they're kind of supporting the roof if you look close enough. And then I'm gonna paint the ceiling this stone color. And then maybe I can put this skeleton in here oh maybe i'll put the skeleton at the window like he's watching you that's creepy do you think anyone will notice that when they're downloading it from the gallery and then outside i might get like a little table spot table spot table piece whatever it can't be too wide i don't think because i feel like that's too big but i guess it doesn't hurt to try i think that's fine maybe this person loved cats or maybe i could give them like a rose flower like this is cute like the single rose but i feel like i want it to be bigger so maybe Maybe I'll give them this and maybe I can size it up with cool just a teensy bit like I think that's cute right I think that's beautiful I think these are so cute except they clip into the fence as you can tell like why then I guess we could size them down and just like overlap them but yeah that's like the only places where we can put like actual flowers and then in the front I was thinking we could probably put some bushes like I think that's fine but if we want to put flowers we could get like a flower bush maybe the flower bushes is nice like it's a nice touch and then I think I probably want to alt place these to be a little bit closer they said we needed a trash can so I guess I can put that in here as well I'll put it in the bathroom I think this is a cute little graveyard but I guess I could probably paint the ceiling and get some trees and then like do terrain paint and then for the grave sites I probably should put some flowers and also when I do upload this to the gallery I don't think these graves will actually show their names just because it doesn't work like that so i got these cute little flowers for i don't know how to say his name i don't want to be wrong and then we have this bouquet so maybe eleanor's husband brought these because you know that's just special and now thinking about it can you like slot a picture frame <gasps> you can that is amazing i'm trying to see like who deserves a picture frame maybe i'll give zoe a portrait i don't know if i can actually i'm pretty sure maybe i can i'm not sure if I can add her picture to it. I don't think I ever talked to her, so. Oh, this actually slots? That's surprising. I think that's cute. Honestly, I am kind of thinking, like, should I change the color of this part? Maybe. But yeah, like, these things have, like, very different options. Yeah, so they have, like, this sand color, the dirt, just plain grass, the flowers, and then, like, the dirt and grass. And also, she's kind of under a tree, so maybe that's nice, depending on how you look at it. Oh, maybe I should make them all different, so, like, all of them are not flowers. I think that's good. I like the idea of that. I'm a little confused. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I expected. But it seems like there's only like two versions of this wood color. So we have like the sand, dirt, the flowers, and then there's no plain grass or like just dirt or just this. Why would they do that? I guess we can just like alternate. Okay, I guess that's fine. And I think the build is done. I think the last thing we need to do is probably just add terrain paint and we're good to go. So I'll add some under these flowers can't really see what I'm doing but that's fine and then I'll just trace the fence with 
dirt as well. And then I imagine these parts are a little dirty as well. Okay, well, we're done with this part. I guess I can just go back into live mode. Maybe I'll save first and then I'll go to live mode and then I'll turn the urns into actually graves. Also, I really wish they would have added the other graves to build by just like the life and death ones. So like the life and death ones are in live mode, but are in build mode, I mean, but you know, the regular base game one isn't. It's in like debug or whatever. Same with like the vampires and etc. I think from here I could probably say turn off auto switch. Are you telling me I have to like turn it off for each one? That's kind of annoying. It still says urn. I guess I have to drag it back off and then choose a different gravestone. I feel like that's a bug, but maybe she has the crow. It didn't change. Oh, now it updated. My bad. I just had to let it play, okay? And then, oh, maybe Tina Tinker uses like the robot. Oh, I was gonna say like maybe Tina Tinker uses like the robot urn or gravestone, but I don't think they have a gravestone. I think they only have an urn because correct me if I'm wrong, but this one is for like servos, right? So I feel like maybe hers can stay an urn. And then this is Leslie. This is Faye. Maybe I'll change Faye's and maybe she can have Oh, the mermaid one is so pretty, but maybe I'll give her this one and then I'm pretty sure we do have a mermaid here Oh, actually, I don't think she's a mermaid, but maybe she's into mermaids So I'll give her like the mermaid grave So I didn't change all of them, but I changed a few of them and then inside She can choose to like place the flower thingy or a drape. Let's go see if that works Hopefully nothing is in the way. Oh, yes, like the flowers are cute and then for Zoe I wanted to give her like a little picture it only shows Avery and that's because I know him. Maybe I can cheat a relationship with Zoe Battelle. I don't think I can summon her, which is a problem because I still can't like assign the photo to her. I'm lighting a candle for Liliana, so that's cute. That's honestly so cute. So it says add ghosts to household and it also says call fourth. So I'm gonna call her fourth and see if that works. Okay, she's actually doing it. Oh, she is here. I'm gonna do like a nice introduction. It does seem she is angry. Okay, so I introduced myself. So hopefully I can assign the photo. Yes, I can assign the photo, thankfully. I think that's so cute. I feel like I spent way too long trying to do that, but I think I had fun with our little graveyard. But yeah, I probably should upload this to the gallery so i just called it tiny cemetery has one bathroom but if you want to download it it will be on my gallery at sims delicious and for such a small build i did use a lot of packs i used 15 i done way worse honestly so i think this is pretty good but yeah i think i'll leave this video off here so if you enjoyed please like comment and subscribe i love you you are important and i will see you guys soon bye